Hey everyone, welcome back to Clubhouse Movies Podcast. I'm your host, Mark Lubakawa, joined once again by Mr. Ayo Panetta, and we are back with another Shop Talk Movie News, our 36th installment, and today is April 29th, 2022. Remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that bell notification, do what you can, uh, check out our Patreon, hide your kids, hide your wife. How you doing, man? I'm tired, man. It's been a week. It's been a week. It's been a week, and it's not over yet. <laughs> been a lot of good movies coming out. A lot of good movies. A lot of good reviews coming out for y'all. Yeah, That's right. Good stuff. Uh, also, uh, I looked into like new releases for this week. Yeah, <laughs> not, <laughs> nothing great is coming nothing. out. Uh, you'll see what we release. So. Yeah. Hey. Well, I'm talking about like movies and theaters. Yeah, no, here. there's nothing. But uh, see, massive talent. Uh, that's a good one. Yes. See Sonic two. And I also remembered uh, everything everywhere all at once is out, which is supposed to be good. Why does that sound so familiar? That's starring uh, Michelle Yeoh, uh, and she is uh, almost doing her own multiverse of madness. Okay. Kind of thing, but it's supposed to be really good. Okay. Sounds intense. But next week, Dr. Strange in the multiverse of madness directed by Sam Raimi. Nice. We'll drop. So uh, get your tickets to that. That'll be next uh, Saturday, and uh, that looks good. Yeah. But you know what else dropped today? What? The new Jurassic Park Domination uh, trailer dropped today. So let's take a quick look at that. Blue, you had a baby. That's impossible. Genetic power has now been unleashed. You made a promise to a dinosaur. Yeah. Biggest carnivore the world has ever seen. All right, well, we just saw the Jurassic Park Domination trailer. Uh, I don't know. I'm excited for it. I'm excited for it, but... It's like dinosaurs, man. I'm a big kid. Great. I guess. I don't know. It looks a little... Uh, I can tell you what I'm excited for more, though. Hmm. Avatar 2. It's got a title. <laughs> That's our Avatar watch horn. It is called Avatar 2, titled The Way of Water. And uh, as if this couldn't get any better... The original film is being remastered for a theatrical release. Hot dog. I am down to watch these back to back in the same theater. Now, uh, well, it's going to come out, um, I believe, in uh, September. Oh. And then uh, the, the, the re-release. And then Avatar 2 will be in December, I think. I'm ready for this. Yeah, so it should be fun. I, uh, I Everyone's been waiting well over 10 years for this it's sequel. Been, it's been a hot minute. I have not. 2009. S- I have not seen Sam Worthington <laughs> since like that last effort. He, he randomly pops up in movies. He hasn't in like forever except for that one Arnold Schwarzenegger movie where he had a big long beard for some reason. He did that. He did. um. What, what are those other movies he did where he was like an Olympian or something? Clash of the Titan movies. Clash of the Titans, right? But those were still over 10 years ago. Yeah, those were a while ago. Those right? were a long time ago. He was also in um, Terminator Genesis for some reason. They're like, oh, this is cat. Oh, right. Yeah, he was like the Terminator in Terminator Genesis. I think uh, McG, who directed that, probably thought to himself, like, oh, if he's going to be in James Cameron, we might as well have him be the Terminator. Yeah, why not? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> McG, I, you know, I was actually watching uh, Terminator Salvation. It showed up on Netflix. That is, like, the worst movie. It's actually a really bad movie. I tried not to watch it. Like, it actually killed the franchise for, like, a lot of people. Yeah. Like, it, it, just watch the first five minutes of it. It is such a poorly constructed Man. beginning to a movie. The only reason I own that movie is because I was given the code for free, <laughs> the digital download, and I was like, you know what? Whatever. I'll download it. What's the harm? Is that like one of those like Morbius like car stolen and left the Morbius? Uh, exactly. It's like someone broke behind. into my house and logged on my Apple account and just started putting movies I don't care about in there. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I wrote down Avatar Remastered uh, Theaters bo- Worldwide September 23rd. Nice. So, well, I wonder if it'll be in 3D. I would actually watch it again 3D just because, and this is the only reason, is because I went to Walt Disney World and I rode Flight of Passage, and let me tell you, it felt exactly like the first time watching that movie in 3D. So it was great. It was fantastic. Where'd you go? Uh, to Walt Disney World, Animal Kingdom. Hmm. Flight of Passage is like the- uh, In Florida? Their, yeah, the marquee oh. ride. It's, it's really good. I, it, I know they did the California Soren. Oh, that one's pretty fun. Yeah. The smell of oranges is fantastic. It, but it smells like synthetic oranges. Like it is you, definitely synthetic. It smells like a uh, bathroom. It smells like citrus. <laughs> <laughs> it does. <laughs> oh, hi-yo. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of things that are crap, 
Um, apparently, M Night was uh, yeah, right. We're, he is always in our stuff. Never, it has been a running joke, except it's not a joke. He just shows up. So apparently, um, for his latest, <laughs> hey guys, movie, I'm making a movie. <laughs> hey, guess what? You guys are going to be talking about it, whether you like it or not. Okay, so apparently, his movie, I think it's called Cabin in the Woods, how original or Dark <laughs> Cabin, knock at the knock door. at the cabin's door. Whatever it's called, Chesapeake Bay. Book I don't know. Uh, so Evil apparently, dead. his movie has a scene so intense he had to step away. <laughs> you know, the entire movie old was so intense I could not watch it. <laughs> it's true because <laughs> I didn't want to spend my money on it. Old was so stupid. <laughs> the twist in old was that there was a science experiment. <laughs> They're not old. That's anyway, I just have to make mention of that because he sucks. Yeah. So there we go. Well, anyway, uh, so CinemaCon is going on right now, and they announced uh, two really big sequels. Tell me. The Batman sequel is officially <laughs> announced. Uh, and the Ghostbusters sequel is announced. They've also Red announced Ghost. the title to the new Mission Impossible movie. What is it? Dead Reckoning Part <laughs> 1. I'm just kidding. Those are my like, guilty pleasure movies. I will definitely Mission Impossible watch movies? It. Just enjoy I them, don't man. think I've seen a Mission Impossible movie all the way through. I have seen every single one many times. I actually bought them all. They're just they're just fun to put on. It's one of those movies like if you guys remember FX, you know, just put on a movie. You could own the movie. You just put it on TV and start doing stuff around the house. It's just fun to have around the house. I uh, think I don't know. I think that uh, I, I feel like they're so overcomplicated and then the first <laughs> they are. It's ridiculous. And the first Mission Impossible was actually incomprehensible. I like I guess I haven't seen it since it came out. I have not seen the first Mission Impossible movie. It was since 1998 or whenever it, the hell it came It's more, out. it's more noir than actual like craziness. Well, I, I, I did see it and I remember like the beginning where everyone is slow. Every, yeah, everyone in his team died. Remember when uh, yeah. when Emilio Estevez died yeah. and then like the, the, and everybody the, was after him and everyone after him. Then John Voight's like, I am the one who killed them all and like the bloody hands were fake because I was looking up in my camera. Yeah, uh, and then the second one like, was damn it. John Voight. Yeah, the Anaconda. Second, yeah, I know. Is it the, the, the Danaconda? Me and my Spanish voice. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> Even as a kid, I was like, what is he trying to say? I know what he said. I was trying to, trying to channel it. That's when they were in there talking about the uh, the uh, like the, the rainbow cruise. <laughs> no, it was the, it was, you're right. You're kind of right. It was about the, the, the jungle cruise water yeah, where you go and if you pee in the water, the little like fish goes up your urethra and yeah. they, have, they have to cut it out. They actually made a mention of that. They have the to cut it out. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they did. Yeah. Oh. You don't go swimming in that water, man. Yeah, it goes up. They go uh, swimming in you. <laughs> Woof. Oh, yeah. Anyway, what else you got? Yeah, I guess uh, that's the burden of uh, having a giant <laughs> manconda. <laughs> manconda. <laughs> it's a burden of massive down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I got some totally random news here, which I thought this was this had already happened. I don't know why I thought. So um, we know Ewan McGregor. We also know Mary Elizabeth Winstead. Yeah. Meow. Um, the, the movie, whatever. What is he called? Kate. Kate. Oh, Kate. That was a good <laughs> powder milkshake or something. <laughs> that was another one. Uh. Similar movies. <laughs> so apparently, Ewan McGregor and Miss Winstead have tied the knot officially oh, wow in a small ceremony with family and close friends. That's good to know. Yeah, that's cool. I guess, you know, but yeah, yeah, all good. Ian McGregor. He I also means to use that oh, I meant to do like the kids. Oh, it still works. Oh, that works. Uh, you, you, you <laughs> and McGregor um, also said that working on the Obi-Wan Kenobi show was the most was more fulfilling than the entire original Star Wars trilogy. I'm so ready for this. Yeah, that comes the next month. dude. It's so May. Ready. Holy cow. It May, is May's like tomorrow. How'd that happen? Age. I was, I was looking forward to September. I really say, oh, September is right around the corner. I'm like, oh no, September is right around the corner. That means like the end of summer already. Looking forward to it. I had to turn on the air conditioner for the first time, like just now. Dude, I've been running my AC. These freaking random heat waves we've been getting in SoCal. Have it's been hot in one day, and then it's cold the next. And it yeah, we had a 30 degree temperature drop from Monday to Tuesday. That's insane. Know. What are we in the Midwest? Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right, Midwesterners? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Give Remember? me a Leichenschneider, whatever those beers are called. <laughs> <laughs> Leichenschneider. Okay, I got a piece of uh, uh, news that, uh, that I thought was mildly uh, interesting. So there's a Walking Dead spinoff starring Negan and... Um, the chick who plays Maggie? Maggie, yeah. Negan and Maggie. So yeah. it's Jeffrey Dean Morgan and Lauren Cohen. Yeah. 
Apparently, Carol was supposed to be on it, um, uh, Melissa McBride, but she's dropped out because they're filming that in Europe. Oh. But in a way, that kind of ruined it because now we know that she survives the original Walking yeah. Dead. And now Plus, we know it's being filmed in Europe. Yeah. Uh, and the thing about it also is like, uh, isn't it just the Walking Dead at that point if you start having more and more and more characters from the Walking Dead? Yeah, it is. Because once you lose Rick, it's like kind of not the original Walking Dead anymore. Yeah. Rick's like, I've got Marvel things to do, guys. Uh, I don't know. Rick. <laughs> okay, Rick quit, and then they said, um, hey, like, how about you be in like the Walking Dead movies? We'll make a bunch of them. And he's like, hell yeah. <laughs> so they did that. Then the coronavirus struck. Shut there, up and take my money. There were two projects that were hit really hard by the coronavirus. Yeah. One was the Walking Dead Rick movies, and the other one was Barry on HBO. Oh, uh, right. Barry and HBO took three years to come out because the, the day they were going to start filming was the start of like the lockdowns. That's crazy. So, uh, but it is back. I actually saw it like the, the first episode. Nice. Three years later was actually out like uh, this week. Uh, it was okay, uh, but I don't know. I, I, I have not seen any of the other Walking Dead spinoffs because okay. they don't seem entertaining. I saw the first Fear of the Walking the Dead and it just felt like Fear of the Walking cash grab. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I don't know. Well, they'll, they'll have to step it up somehow. Why? I got some random. Uh, they should have flying here. zombies. <laughs> they fly now. <laughs> they should let James Gunn direct an episode. He made Slither. Oh, he did. Yeah, right. That movie was intense, man. Mm-hmm. Gross me out with the squiggly things. Anyway, so we have. Uh, let's see. Anyway, I got another bit of news here. More mm-hmm. James Gunn stuff. Mm-hmm. James Gunn apparently is a pretty cool guy. A pretty cool guy to work. James. For. Gun, <laughs> ah, hi So apparently, he has recently had to come up um, to defend Chris Pratt. For honestly, I have no idea why, but apparently something was going on. I didn't read too much about it because I mean, I I cared enough just to show you guys. So we have a quote direct from James Gunn. Apparently, he said, "For what? Because of your made up, utterly false beliefs about him." For something that someone else told you about him that's not true, Chris Pratt would never be replaced as Star-Lord. But if he ever was, we would all be going with him. For the love of God, don't cancel James Gunn. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. Yeah, please don't. Because apparently he will cancel himself if we try to touch anyone he's working with. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know. And, and to me, unless like he murders somebody, it's kind of like, yeah. you know, let, then that's cool. If he hits a chick or something like that you know then yeah or if he's like a some sort of child monster yeah uh yeah by all means yeah but if the guy has just got like i don't know i from what i've hear it's pretty benign stuff that they're after uh, chris pratt for yeah so uh i don't know let the guy work what what else he got to do you you just don't don't invite him to your birthday party yeah if you don't like him don't like him yeah just don't don't invite him to your wedding anymore i know chris pratt goes to all my weddings yeah so you know him and i like he's so cool he comes over all the time you know I mean, you, it's like South Park uh, slash. There's really no such thing as slash. What do you mean? There's no such thing as slash. Yeah, that was like your my dad dressed up as like Winter Slash. What? There's no <laughs> such thing as slash. It's like Santa Claus. It's like there's no such thing as Chris Pratt. So ridiculous. Chris Pratt's just, just your dad. Yeah, he's just a person. He's just a person. He's just a state of mind. He's in the Tomorrow War. Okay. Uh, anyway, I got I got one more. Okay. Uh, Lionsgate and Roku have made a deal. Oh, the deal apparently is is that a lot of movies will head. The Lionsgate movies, new movies, including Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent, as we mentioned earlier, mm-hmm. but John Wick for Expendables for, okay. uh, they are going to go to stars first. So oh. they're going to do a movie run, then they're going to do a stars run, yep, and then they're going to do a Roku channel run. Oh wow! Okay, so they're going to dance around. So uh, apparently, that's going to people are really confused. Wow, sorry, and for more boutique streaming services. And uh, just as I uh, mentioned before, there is an Expendables four, and they uh, have released the cast list and a tagline for Expendables four. Tell me, the tagline is, "They'll die when they're dead." <laughs> and then uh, the cast list is. Let me see if I can read it. Someone just took a picture of it. Uh, it's uh, Jason Statham, Curtis Fifty Cent Jackson, Megan Fox, Dolph Lundgren, Tony Jaw. I don't know. Curious, Ewais. No idea. I know Randy Couture, uh, Jacob Scipio, Levy Train, Andy Garcia, and Sylvester Stallone. No. <laughs> you know who they didn't mention. No, Arnold. He uh, mm. he filmed his uh, uh, Expendables one cameo when he was still governor. 
Oh, right. Yeah, he did. I, he, he's still cameo in it. Yeah, he's still cameo. They ought to have uh, it's probably uncredited, you know. They ought to have actually Bruce Willis. He didn't want to come back for expense because they replaced him with Harrison Ford. Oh, yeah. Um, totally random. But anyway, that has well, been our. Hot. No, I got I got one left. You do wow. I okay, good. Left. I already ripped the thing up. Yeah, too bad. You know, you, you can poke a hole <laughs> in like a piece of paper and look through it, and you have like perfect sight. It's pretty amazing. It's yeah, called a pinhole camera also. Yeah, yeah. Like, nice. Like it's and and I think you even see things like really close. Like it's like like also macro like, vision. Yeah, yeah. It's like a magnifying. That glass. is intense bit of news, man. Mm-hmm. I'm actually gonna do something with that. Why not? Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> I'm gonna do with it. <laughs> Wipe your ass with it. <laughs> there you go. So uh, I got a bit of news for uh, everybody's been watching this, right? I assume everybody's watching it because the, we're we live in the Marvel verse, and that's just how it is. So apparently, Moon Knight, the latest show by Marvel, has um, uh, Oscar Isaac. Right, stars Oscar Isaac. Well, in the last two episodes, if you are not up to date, there are two Isaacs, and in the show, we have the two characters, Mark and Steven. Well, for the show, apparently the body double for this, for all these scenes of the doubles was Oscar Isaac's brother. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they gave him, the reason I bring this up is because he brought up a fake name. His code name during the shoot made me laugh out loud when I read mm-hmm. it. His, his name was Mork Sphincter. <laughs> <laughs> It was just like, come on. How could no one get that they were calling his brother or something more sphincter? It's like, come on. I, I, uh, <laughs> I actually kind of like uh, Moon, Moon Knight. It, I like it. I enjoy it. There, there's also a, a, a subtle cameo because I, I've noticed that um, Moon Knight, the character, yeah. does look a lot like Dark Man. Mm-hmm. Dark Man is also be was directed by Sam Raimi, who's directing. Uh, multiverse of madness but yes. did you notice that there was a scene in uh episode two where he got abducted by like the fake police and yeah he was like telling them like the story and then like someone he was talking to in the car was like hey man that's pretty dark man like they said like that that's pretty dark yeah. man <laughs> and i think oh did he try to say dark man because he like did. he looked just he like totally dark did. man i don't know i thought that was funny i don't know if anyone's caught it but yeah. i did because i always thought he looked like dark man and my brain went there uh, I think there was another nod, but I can't remember. I didn't think we'd talk hot yeah. Moon Knight talk today. Yeah, I think so. Either. Oh, also Moon Knight, not to be convinced, uh, confused, confused with with Mac the Knight, the uh, <laughs> the the uh, the strange uh, <laughs> McDonald's uh, <laughs> strange McDonald's moon creature that is, uh, who rides a motorcycle and or convertible. Uh, Jose's brother from another mother. I used to have nightmares about that guy's Mac the terrifying. Knight. Terrifying. You, Mac the Knight. I do remember. <laughs> yeah, and he had like then they had animatronic versions. It of him. was terrifying. I heard a rumor that he became like a strange like white supremacy icon too at some point. So we'll never see him again. That's so weird. Yeah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think I think I'm I'm done. I have no more news. I got no more news. Let's see if we can do this. Uh, no! Uh, no! 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 Remember to like share subscribe hit that bell notification tell your friends hide your kids hide your wife do what you can check out our patreon check out our merch yeah we are here we are there we are everywhere we watch movies we review movies we talk shop about movies yeah we like to uh, talk about other things too we might it, be in a movie we might be in a movie <laughs> starring you it's called the girl of my dreams you know what movie that was I have no idea that Which was one? last action hero oh crap because the Arnold Schwarzenegger. Wow, that went deep. Yeah. <laughs> deep cuts. I remember because he was hitting on a girl. He was Arnold Schwarzenegger, but he was like playing a character. Yeah. And then like the the, the kid was like, you're a movie star. You were in that movie. And it was like pointing in like Terminator 2, two Judgment Day tar- starring uh, Sylvester Stallone. Yeah. And then like the chick working at Blockbuster, where she's like, you were in a movie. He's like, yes, it was called The Girl of My Dreams and it was starring you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, yeah, uh, we'll catch you next time. Uh, I'm your host, Mark Robocaba, for Mysterio Panetta on Clubhouse Movies Podcast. We will catch you next time. <laughs>